from Thailand. It's, there's not much you can do to protect yourself against that. Yeah, and three three headed goals is is disappointing to just to start. What's going on guys? It is JJ here back with another footballing reaction video and today we're going to be taking a look at the final of the 2019 China Cup. Just a just a small international competition between four teams that is Thailand, China, Uzbekistan and Uruguay. Uh, the final between Uruguay and Thailand. Now this is I, I guess what what you would predict Thailand putting up a very good fight. Uh, Shanathip Sankrasen I thought played really well, but this Uruguay team, a very experienced team, making you know they, they've been World Cup semi-finals from 2010. They've always competed for the Copa Americas and they they handled their business uh, in this contest. So we're gonna take a look at the contest between the Thailand and the Uruguay uh, for the China Cup final. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. And we're just gonna kind of, uh, we're just gonna kind of chat through it because it, the Uruguay, they have the height, they have the physicality advantage. They all play in much more competitive leagues uh, at the moment, including, you know, La Liga, Serie A. And so you, you could see it wasn't a golfing class by any means. Thailand, Thailand they, they stayed in the competition, they, they kept this game interesting. Uh, but headed balls Uruguay are that team Diego Godin from Uruguay was phenomenal he was so good yeah and there's just another one there's there's not much you can do there's there's really not much you can do here if you are you know if, you, if you're if you're a player from Thailand if there's not much you can do to protect yourself against that yeah and Three three headed goals is is disappointing to just to start. Uh, Thailand, you need someone to to be able to get up in the air, uh, especially defending set pieces. But I mean, there's not there's not much more you guys can ask really of them. So so yeah, it was three nothing. It wasn't in quick succession either. Thailand were able to get in the game. Uh, Shana Kipson Krasen was, was getting his shots off. He was, he was playing Diego Godin very, very well. It was just, yeah, it was a matter of winning those aerial duels. And here's, here's Uruguay doing what they do best. Little, little one-touch football. And then, and then just doing the business. Stuani, the good assists over the middle, and it's just an easy tap in. And at that point, at that point, you would ask maybe the goalkeeper had, could have could have done something a little bit more. Uh, but in the end, you know the score is the, the score is what the score was. Uh, four nothing in favor of Uruguay over Thailand. It, it's been an interesting international break. Uh, for teams in Asia and teams in South America playing in friendlies against each other. I know Japan and Colombia are going to be playing, uh, I believe, tomorrow morning as well as South Korea, Bolivia. It's very nice to sort of get this weird mixture of Asian teams competing against South American teams, especially when it's just relatively international friendlies or even just small tournaments. Just stuff to help expose uh, not only Uruguayan football to Asia, but Thai football to, to Uruguay and to South America. And I think it was it, it was a great idea. And Thailand, mad props to you for beating China to start the China Cup. I mean, it was revenge from the AFC Asian Cup round of 16 matchup where you guys were unlucky to drop to China in that contest, in my opinion. And then, you know, Uruguay, they're going to be tough opposition either way. They, they were going to be very good for their money either way. So, yeah. That is, that is it, guys. Let me know your thoughts if you're a Thailand fan down in the comments below on what maybe you guys can do better to compete against the teams like Uruguay or against teams like Uzbekistan, China, uh, maybe more in that Asian Cup scene. And if you're a fan of Uruguay, do you guys need Suarez and, and Cavani to continue to compete? Your, your midfield and your defense is still stacked with talent. And, and Stuani is, is a very, very capable uh, striker. So, yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.